My name's Richard. I am chaplain to MHA Star Hills in Lytham St Anne's. At MHA we like to think that we provide care in body, mind and spirit. And I suppose you would therefore say that it's the spirit bit that is my remit. And the care of someone's spirit, for some people, some of the time, does involve what you might call formally religious things like services and prayers. But for everybody, all of the time, it involves those things which put you in good spirits and make life positive, make life happy, make life a joy. He joins in with everything and he really gets to know the residents. They feel they know him well enough to turn to him. Because somebody has absolutely no religious belief, no belief in any higher power, doesn't mean to say that actually there isn't a role for a chaplain in their lives. I have seen the benefit of it and, and I think it's great. I think every co -om should have one. I have to earn the right to be by somebody's bedside when they're ill. I have to earn the right to be the person who holds their hand when they're dying. And the way in which I do that is I get to know them in a whole host of different ways. He's a really big part of this community in this building. He's the heart of it. He brings a dimension that we can't give. He's not stiff, he's not formal. He is just good fun with them and I think that makes a difference. I don't know what they do without Richard. They absolutely adore him. Our main aim, our chief aim, our overriding goal is that you come to this place to live. This is a new way of life, that old phrase, God has saved the best wine until last. And this is it. And it's the chaplain's job to make sure that this sense of community, of togetherness, of belonging, of purpose, of pleasure, of fun, of joy, of support, of comfort and of healing, that's what Care of the Spirit, I think, is all about.